Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here. Back with the second part of my Heavy Hell 3 um, review, I guess you could say. Though this part, uh, I'm mainly going to be showing off all the stuff that I took that I was able to get signed. And uh, like I said, I try to take stuff to get signed. I got a lot of it signed. Uh, some of it, not completely. There were some that I only got maybe most of the members or only one of the members. But, you know, that's just the way it is. It's such a crazy thing. People were trying to spread themselves out. And I totally understand that. Uh, the only one I really didn't get to meet at all to really get anything signed was uh, Demericus. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but what I did get, there was actually a couple of people that I ran into that were not playing that I actually got to sign some stuff. I actually ran into uh, Corey and Chris from uh, Grave Ripper, and I was able to get them to sign my uh, Death Ensemble demo. So, yeah, very cool. And then, of course, I ran into uh, Chris Morrison, who is the guitarist of Mother of Graves, who have a new album coming out. If you have not heard the new single, go check that out. But uh, I actually got him to sign all three of my... Harakiri CDs, um, which is one of his old um, death metal projects. So, yeah, it was funny though. He was like, I feel, he goes, I feel kind of awkward. So, you know, I don't want to say, what I say, awkward. He goes, he goes, I feel like a goon signing these for you here because I'm not playing. I was like, that's okay. I feel like one asking you to sign them. But, you know, he was gracious enough to do it anyway. And then, of course, uh, got my veil cast and uh, tusk. Split CD signed by Jesse and Xander from uh, Cadaverous. And uh, speaking of Cadaverous, got the uh, whole band to sign my copy of their Slam the Coffin Shut uh, EP demo, whatever you want to call this. I consider it an EP. And I uh, got to talk to them for a little bit. Really cool guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, doing that for me. And, you know, thank you to everybody who actually, you know, if they happen to see this, thank you for taking the time to put up with me and signing all of this stuff for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. After I saw Cursed Blade, went and talked to Ty right afterwards and uh, told him how great the set was. Got a picture with him and I uh, got him and the rest of the band to sign my Cursed Blade demo. And I also got him to sign my copy of uh, Throne of Iron, Second Winter, Live and Raw in Chicago, because he actually played bass on this recording. So, yeah, very happy about that. Um, went to the Jesus Wept uh, table, and I was able to get uh, my Apertheid Redux um, album signed by, uh, God, what was his name? Robbie, Robbie Versace, the guitarist, was able to get him to uh, sign that. And I actually picked up two copies of their brand new EP and I uh, got him to sign it for me. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to run into any of the other band members to get them to sign it. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, then, of course, you know, I was raiding the Molder table. And that was kind of why it was kind of a little late getting into the... Uh, cadaverous set and i was got in halfway through the first song but uh, i was also getting a bunch of stuff signed there i got my uh, rotted rotting in chicago uh tape signed by aaron pankey because of course he played drums on this release and got all of my molder albums signed And they just honestly could not believe how much stuff I brought to get signed. And, of course, I picked up a copy of their brand new one and got that autographed. Have not had a chance to listen to this, but I am really looking forward to jamming it. And then, of course, I also got Aaron to sign my copy of the granulated demo here. Really good stuff. Really, that's probably one of the best looking of the bunch that got autographed. Sorry for the... Reflection there off of the little plastic sleeve I got covering it. And then, of course, got both CDs by Cryptum autographed. Because a couple of the members from Mulder are in Cryptum. And then, of course, I got... Uh, I actually have already one 
album by Wraith that was signed by them because when I ordered it from them, I asked them to sign it at the time. But uh, yeah, I was able to get my other ones signed and then got my uh, Idol Throne here signed by Jason. So yeah, thank you guys so much for doing that for me. Really, really appreciate it. Let's see here. Next up, I uh, got to talk to Yatra right after they got set up. Really awesome people. Um, very down to earth. We talked off and on quite a bit uh, before they went on. And of course, I got them to uh, sign. Hopefully you can see that. All the albums that I have, I'm still missing a copy of the debut. Oop, covering up one of the signatures there. And, of course, their latest one signed by the band. And then, of course, uh, definitely one of the highlights for me was after the set uh, that they played. I uh, went outside again, and I was taking kind of a break from watching bands. And I uh, saw Maria over there at the table, and I went up to her. I was like, hey, you know, I loved your set and everything. You guys kicked ass. I would definitely love to see you again and everything. And she gave me, you know, and I actually ended up, I should say before I tell you that, I actually ended up uh, buying a couple other things from their booth, and she gave me a fist bump, and she, she's like, you know what, bring it in. And she gave me a big old hug, and that was definitely one of the highlights of my night. Uh, let's see here. Got... My copy of uh, Well of Nights, The Lower Plains of Self-Abstraction, signed by Max Otworth of Borboropsis, because, of course, he played on this, and he also played on Heavy Lies the Crown, Gears of Inhumanity. So I uh, got him to sign that for me. And then getting locally again, got my copy of Obscene Sermon to the Snake EP, Signed by Kyle and uh, Brandon. And this is actually the self-released version. Blood Harvest actually reissued this, which I also have the reissue. But if I was going to get anything signed, it was going to be the self-released. And then, of course, got both Obscene albums signed. Hopefully you can see them. By everybody but Roy. For some reason, that guy seemed to avoid me. I don't know. I mean, obviously it wasn't intentionally. But, uh, like, after their set was over, I saw him, you know, breaking down his gear, and I was trying to hurry up and get in my bag, grab it so I could run up there and be like, hey, would you mind signing these? And by the time I got everything out, got it all zipped back up and stood up, he was gone. And, of course, I was trying to hold down my spot I had because I had a really good spot, and Demiricus was getting ready to come on, so I was not going to miss that. So I was just like, fuck it, I'll try to catch him later. Never did, so one of these days I am going to catch Roy, hopefully when I see him seen again live at some point, and I'm going to get him to sign those damn albums. <laughs> and then, of course, I got uh, Brandon, as well as Chris Morrison, to sign my copy of Mother of Graves in Somber Dreams. Um, I am super excited for their new one to come out. Cannot wait for that. And then I also got Brandon, as well as uh, Jesse from uh, Cadaverous, to sign my uh, Primordium CD. And both of them were completely surprised when I pulled this out to have them sign. They're like, holy shit, where did you get that? I was like, I've had this for a while. So, you know, I had to get, had to get you guys to sign it. And then, of course, I got... Um, oh, God, I cannot think of his name off the top of my head. Um, Mike Morgan, God, I total brain fart here. Uh, he was also in the band Christ Beheaded, and uh, Dustin Boltia, the drummer of Demiricus, was in there. And I was going to get both of them to sign my copy of their EP, but I was only able to get Mike to sign it because, like I said, I did not get a chance to really talk to Dustin or any of the other members of Demiricus. But tis what it is. So still, yeah, got all that signed from them. But the one that I did not think I was ever going to be able to get was Athanar from Midnight. And um, lo and behold, he actually had a table sitting next to Sean from Wise Blood's table. And he was just sitting there. And to look at him, you would not know that it was him. And uh, of course, you know, when I look at back on it and I looked at how he looked then, 
And what I saw on stage when I caught Midnight Set, I was like, there is no fucking way that is the exact same person. And like I said, I did not know it was him. And the only reason that I knew it was him is because as I was walking in to see Yatra's set, I saw a guy walk up uh, with one of these fest posters and ask him to sign it. So as soon as he did that, I was like, that's fucking Athenar. So I I know I had more CDs than this. I don't know where the hell they went to. My plush is such a cluster. Maybe I did. Maybe this is all I had. I don't know. But I remember I looked through everything. But I was able to get Athenar. That one's not sure. Too good. There you go. To sign all the albums that I took with me. Including the brand new one, Let There Be Witchery. Oh my god. I mean, I've had an autographed picture of Athenor that I got with a metal head box, but to have albums signed by him is just fucking amazing to me. Uh, sorry if I rushed through this part, but um, yeah, I was, yeah, so excited to show this stuff off. Now I gotta try to clean up all this fucking mess because I've got a mess everywhere with stuff. So yeah. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.